I started writing songs when I was in primary school. I uh, used to watch Top of the Pops and I used to think that's just the most amazing job in the world. It looks like so much fun what they were doing. I then learned guitar in secondary school and kind of matched the songs to some guitar work. I then got into recording when I was about 14. And ever since then, I've just been plugging away at gigging and trying to hone in my songwriting. Musically, I'd say my influences are really varied. I mean, when I was in my teens, I was really into bands like Yellow Card and Switchfoot. Busted as well, I'm not afraid to say that. I used to look up to them a lot, what they were doing. It was kind of a surfy rock style. I mean, I've always wanted to be like bands like that and kind of through doing acoustic music, I've got really into Newton Faulkner. Ben Howard's more recently is a massive influence. I'd say my songwriting process is more structured now than it used to be. It used to be really sporadic and kind of crazy because sometimes I get an idea anywhere and I'd just write it down or I'd sing it to myself on my phone uh, in a message or something. And whereas now it's more kind of, if I want to write a specific kind of song, then I sit in the conservatory and just wait until something comes to me or you know, I'll mull over an idea or a chord sequence for a little while and it will progress into something. I'd say that I really do enjoy the attention on stage. I get extremely nervous beforehand at pretty much every gig. I think that's a good thing. It reminds you that you're alive. I love being on stage. I love the challenge of winning over an audience. I'm never daunted by that. If it's harder to win over an audience, then I usually enjoy a gig more. I love it when people sing along and when you spot people in the crowd that you realise that they're totally at one with what's going on with your music right there. And that's awesome. I love that. My first single from my latest album, Stay Smiling, is called All Down To You. I released that at the beginning of the year and I did a music video for it as well. I filmed that in France uh, in August last year. And in a nutshell, that song for me is saying thank you to my mum and dad for helping me through good times and bad times over the past few years. And it's a really lovely song to play live because as soon as I start playing it, I'm totally in the zone of where I wrote it and what it's about. So it can get pretty emotional for me. It normally takes me about three to four months to record an album from start to finish. What I normally try and do and what I did on the last one is record more songs than I need so that I've got the opportunity to pick the best ones. But generally, I start to get a, a real feel for what is worth putting on the album, what's worth putting out there, and, and also playing live. I mean, um, you know, you start to get a feel pretty early on for the songs that people are starting to really hook on to. I think that the next thing for me is to tour the album, spend a bit of time recording some new songs, because I generally spend all of summer uh, recording an album and this year I want to be gigging really heavily, getting more fans of the music and just continually having exciting opportunities and, and having fun with the music. Ba -doom, ba -doo, ba -doo.